Hi, this is Minecraft Sensations coming at you with my second video. I thought I would make this video showing some of my pieces like I had promised in my last video. Um, I want to start off by showing my very first piece I had made for my daughter and it did not turn out well at all. It's like bled or something around the edges. She didn't care for it either, so that's why my first piece is still just sitting here. Some of these pieces here, well actually all these pieces that you see at the top here, were all made by clippings that I had cut out of magazines and sales papers. I, I made templates to be the size of my ice cube tray, and I made another template for my molds and then I would just lay them across the piece that you know sections that I thought would make a really good piece and then I would trace it and clip it out I would mod podge them and I did about three coats each side so that it wouldn't bleed or show through looking see through or anything like that so all of these at the top here are some clippings from magazines catalogs all these pieces right here I love this piece right here purple piece now these two are from the same piece but I did one in red and one just clear top and actually these two pieces here they were from a calendar that I had with chocolate pieces all over the calendar so I used my template and cut those pieces out and I'm going to make different necklaces out of those and over here are some sticker ones blue and I put some seed beads some blue and yellow seed beads at the bottom and some blue and yellow seed beads at the top I mean pink and blue seed beads at the top and then I made a one in pink to kind of coordinate with that I was going to make rings out of them and I thought that you know make them flexible but they were wound up being too flexible so they wouldn't hold their shape so I'm going to have to figure out something else for those pieces there this piece here is my first attempt at swirling colors here this is yellow and green making like a little marble color look out of it I think it turned out good I just gotta figure out what to do with it make a similar piece maybe make some earrings to go with it and here's some more pieces down here sticker pieces cupcake I added the little things here to make them into necklaces this one here and this one probably make necklaces out of all of them and here's a couple of molds here molded parts this one's red and white and I made this one out of auburn and it came out see through I think it came out pretty good I haven't decided what to do with that yet and this one here is a piece where I made a small blue piece and then I inserted it into a long, one of the longer pieces from the mold so just see how two colors in one would look. This is the mold that I used right here with the small piece and the large piece. And this also right here up here is the template that I made for my pieces up the top. And this is the ice tray here that I made for the other template. It makes it so much easier instead of trying to cut the fit. Just make a template, put it across there, trace it out, drop it on in the resin. Now, I was watching a video one day and I saw that using makeup. And I thought that was cool because I was running out of colors and didn't want to spend so much money on the colors, the inks and everything. So I went in and got my makeup out and this is like a green. I don't know if you can really see the green in there. 
and I did that to match the little bullseye sticker. It's kind of a lime green color. And then this one's a purple. And I used two tones of different purples to get this color. If I could just stop dropping them. And here. And then this is a brown makeup color that I used. I hope you can see the color. It has like a little bit of glitter in them. Or not glitter, uh, pearl dust in there to give it a little bit of different look to it. And this one I made with some blush. And I love this color. I wanted a red and I wanted a solid red. And this is what I got. And I love this color. Here are some more chocolate pieces that I used from the calendar that I mentioned earlier. And I made mannix out of these here. And this one, it didn't really turn out so well because it got faded. I guess I didn't mosh podge it very well. But I wanted to hold on to it because it was so cute. And I liked what it said on it. And it says, I give up chocolate, but I'm no quitter. So I made this into a mannequin and put it on my refrigerator. I don't know if you can see it right here. But that's what that one is. And then these are also from the chocolate ones. And I just kind of just put some chocolate, some brown pearl dust in the back of this one. And these two here. This one's cute. I haven't decided what to do with this one yet. I haven't even colored the other side. And this chocolate piece. I've rounded this one out with some color in the back. I thought these were cute out of the chocolate pieces. And this one here, I think, is like one of my favorite pieces here. This is a little girl. She looks kind of purple. And then I put green on the bottom with flowers. And blue at the top to make it like a sky. And I put a little sticker right here on the side to make it look like the sun. Like she's outside enjoying the weather. I'm going to make a necklace out of this one. Very cute piece here. And this one here I just completed today. This one is cute. This one is those uh, real shiny stickers. And I mixed some blue, some pink and yellow glitter together and I got this kind of orangey color which I thought was really cute. It turned out well in the background of it. And this one here I made for my daughter. She's two. I haven't figured out how to exactly make a necklace out of it. She's going to keep pulling on and keep playing with it but I thought this was a cute little princess piece for her. Mm. This one here I made for my other daughter. Had a couple of things in it. And I just put some eyelets in the back. It says whatever. Oh my gosh. And then this one says don't front. Stars. And then I did another flower one here. And, oh, these two pieces here I made, I used, I left them clear, I hold it up here so you can see it up against this white, I left it clear and then I put a purple dot of resin in the middle, and then I used seed beads of all different color purples down at the bottom. I have two of these, I'm going to make some earrings out of these. Here's one of my other favorite pieces. This is the Oriental um, Girl. I printed this up on my printer and then I colored it in with my markers and I made a necklace out of it. Oh, it looks like it's a little dirt right there, but, um, gonna, and I flipped it over and I got this on the back so I can wear it either way. And I made a few pieces of it with this girl and I gave them to my sister so that we would all have a piece of a similar piece. Um, oh and these pieces here are all 
colored hearts with glitter in it. It's animal print. This one is orange and black. This one's purple and pink. And then I made this little one with purple and orange and pink hearts and the same color glitter in the background. I'm going to make my na daughter a necklace and just stagger them all together and let them drape down. I think that would be cute once that one's complete. And I also have some mishaps. I have this one. I forgot when I flipped it over that it was this and then I put black and gold on the back so I didn't like how that one looked. And this one I thought was going to be really cute but I didn't mod podge well again and have a big blotch right in the middle of the nose. This one is some more chocolate pieces that I had did and I tried to put some seed beads in there but I don't know, it didn't turn out what I, how I thought it would look. I guess I had too much glitter in it. And that's the back. I wish the darker was on the back instead of the front, because then that would have been a cute piece. And I made this mold, actually. I made it out of stir sticks, because I didn't have a size mold that I wanted to make a bigger piece out of. So I used stir sticks, glued them together, and made this mold for this piece. And then I just put some colored tape around the edges. I don't know. I'll figure out something to do with that. In this piece I was so disappointed in this color and then I put white on the back. So what I started doing was labeling my colors on the tray once I get them in there since you can't see through the other side. This one I thought was going to be a really cute piece. This is one I cut out of a magazine and it's purple and pink and then I put pink glitter on the back which I thought was going to be really cute but again let me see if I can get a, a better view you can see down at the bottom right there where it bled through it and it's like little dots of bleeding through all over it I don't know if you can really see that but I was disappointed in that piece and this was an ice cream cone that I tried to do with some baby clamp and I don't know it didn't turn out like I really wanted it to turn out it's not not all that cute so I haven't tossed it yet because I'm hoping that I can repair this some kind of way and that's it I will be back to show off some of my completed pieces. Hope you enjoy my stash. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, or subscribe. And subscribe. Thanks. Bye.